Hello everyone, welcome on back to Edgewater Saskatchewan. So, well, first things first, just like we've been doing recently, basically every episode we've been starting out by, well, filling up the dairy. Almost 8,000 liters today for milk, which is nice. Good to see. At some point we will likely be selling the wheat. It's, oh, I went too far. <laughs> the wheat is starting to go, well, it's still going up. It says January, but I don't know if I really want to risk it too much. So I'm probably going to hold off. Or I'm probably going to sell it. it. We could wait, we could not. A couple of the places are going down. So I'm just going to probably sell it towards the end, I would say. We still have all of the strive yet to quite figure out why that's not going into the barn. It's still, yeah, all up. So I'm likely going to go into a test map and just try and, uh, well, if you put it in a feed mixer, it'll tear it up and put it into a loose form and just see if then we can make it happen. If that doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Then we'll just end up selling it. And I, I, I need to do it after this video because it's gonna start going down probably next month. So right now it's towards the high price, even though it's only what nine grand I think right now. Thanks for signaling there, eh, bud? Hoping to get the entire cornfield done today. That's on the top of the list. Uh, the cows have like 18, 19,000 liters of total mixed. But right now we can't make any more. So I kind of need to get the corn done. That's why I think today we're going to be heavily focusing on that field. I'm probably just doing other loose ends. Because I think next video we'll probably be focusing heavily on mowing. Trying to get all that stuff done so we get a bunch of hay set aside for the cows. Even though I said I was going to do silage, but at that time I, I thought I could make it last a little bit longer, but I think it will be tight. Hey, first time we get to use the corn header though. Our new to us corn header. That was then. Uh, next video, we get to use, or uh, we'll finally harvest the green feed oats. I might look at the new, uh, was a hay and forage pack stuff. Because as I'm recording this, I think it just came out today as I'm recording this. Alright, let's get this. Uh, Harvester unfolded. Now, last time we did this, it took a while. And we got like, what, 55,000 liters, something like that, out of it? This is a very good soil field. As uh, you can see, the previous yield map was very, very good. And right now it's more the same, uh, which is, I mean, good. It's not losing its yield quite yet. Not caught, gotten that bad in pH or anything, which is, is, this would be what, the second time we've harvested this? I think it's like 5,000 liters for corn for a total mixed uh, mix. So it'll be nice to get more, which I'll, well, we kind of need more. I've been doing it a little bit heavier on hay than corn, especially towards the end there because I wanted to make sure I'd have enough to 
connected it basically maxed out. Just because hay is a lot easier to get. Every three months you can harvest it. This is what, every seven, eight months? Probably six, maybe. Yeah, it's probably closer to that like six month range. Because I think around here, I think they plant like Mayish and then harvest is, I don't know, October, somewhere in there. Oh, I have 56% done already. We're full. Well, it looks like the yield is going to be a little bit less in spots. So we should actually get a little bit less from this. Which I guess is kind of expected. It's a little bit lower, the pH. I'm not quite sure how good or bad it is. But it's okay. Well, it's, some areas it's bad. Might have been on the soil. I think most of our fields will need another coating of uh, lime probably after all of its harvests. Outside the newer fields that we've just recently limed, I would think most of them will need it. I haven't checked that back field, the back lintel field that we did last video yet. If it needs it, I'm expecting it will. I would expect, at least. Finish this entire row, then we'll back up, unload it. Go around again, need a little bit more turning room. Haven't looked when the how the soybeans are doing. How far along are they? Uh, a couple more months still. The big lintel field is ready now, so we got that going up soonish. That field needs to be uh, sprayed off too. A lot of things need to be done, but it's just getting it done now. Yeah, I think we'll do one more whole lap around I have plenty of room to turn around and I'm sure not the entire field to get done in a nice time lapse so a worker may do some of it while we go and you know, let's say spray that one field something like that so I'm trying to show more of each uh, item of task I guess that we have to do or so at least I'm doing at least half of it and then worker can do some of it or something like that without making the entire video one thing. Especially right now with all, all the things we have that we could do right now, so. Probably gonna get a front uh, mower or two for the, the big mowing session. Should go a little bit faster then. Not just our side one. Or back one that holds on the side. How about a larger wind rower or something like that too? Uh, at the same time, I don't think we do enough of it to really make it worth it. But we will be doing more of it now because we're starting to get more and more cows. It's we're starting to get. I think basically all of them are up to puberty age, breeding age, so they're all, you know, making babies now, making calves. We kind of need to expect to have more and more mouths to feed as the months pass. Not even sure how many we're up to at this point. I think that after our last time that we bought a couple, I haven't added any. I'm sure we've uh, gotten a couple fresh ones in there, a couple new ones. I think there are a couple wind rowers in the new hay and forge pack, so maybe we could look at one of those. It's already probably dang your twenty thousand liters in that. Uh, what? It's the same thing. Um. So yeah, mowers, I was probably going to get this one. 
mainly because I, I think it would just probably work a little bit better and it's cheaper than these so kind of how, how the cookie crumbles or wind rowers here we go so we currently have this one yes as a seven meter width uh, that's eight and a half meter width on that it's not much bigger 9.3 where's the cheapest bigger one that's seven meters for ninety one thousand dollars I think we might be in the this range 9.3 meters that would be nice yeah I would say we'd probably be around this range plus we'd have ours to sell which is about eight by eight and a half Maybe nine on a good day if you sell it at the store. No, just over 17,000 years. We'll get this parked into the field now. We'll see. I, I want to use something from that pack, but a lot of it is... I mean, compared to base game and mods, prices are kind of high, but... Seems like that's just how the how they tend to be. Although I did see the forge wagon's probably the really good deal. Eighty six thousand. And it's bigger than the one for a hundred thousand. So we're talking like a hundred and twenty three thousand dollar worth of item for eighty six thousand. That is a really good deal. I would I wouldn't mind getting a forge wagon, but I don't think we really have a use for it right now. It'd be nice sure we could just bulk pick up the hay, but then we gotta put the hay somewhere. And we're getting more than forty six thousand liters of hay, so we can't just keep store it in the forge wagon. I think I think each bale is eight. 8,000 liters, 8,500 liters. And I'm sure this time we'll get well over 20 bales. Once you figure the green feed oats in there. Uh, you can, yeah, more I'm looking at it, the, the yield is definitely less. Not by much, but it is less. You can see these, this was dark green before. Now it's just a hair, a, a hair under. It's instead of 125, it's 120 percent yield. Oh boy, that is that is horrible. You know. Oh, I'm pretty sure anybody would be happy with 120 percent expected yield. Looks like the uh, header does, for the most part, look like it fits fairly decent with this uh, combine. I didn't look what the uh, header made for it fit like, but I assume it didn't fit that much uh, different than that one, or this one. Well, I think I will uh, set our time lapse. We'll see how far we get. And depending off of that, we'll either have a worker finish some of it. Well, we pro probably spray off that field. Maybe we'll plant that backfield instead. We'll see. I I got like eight, ten minutes to, to decide that during the time lapse. So I'll uh, talk to everyone as soon as the time lapse is over.
Welcome back, everyone. So we're just about finished up here. Well, finished with the time lapse, I should say. <laughs> we still got a good majority of the field to go. But we must do other things as well. I think we got the field to the smaller part, so it shouldn't require as much hands-on by us for a little while. So I think my what my plan is, I'm going to first check if that backfield needs to be lined. And if it doesn't, then I'll plant it. If it does, then I'll probably lime it. And maybe I'll get to that field for spraying. I got to do a check on the wheat. I almost forgot about that. It is still currently going up at the train station. Like the only thing that's always a great price. Farmer's market. Where is that? I like to go to other places, but. Uh, it's probably down here. Yeah. It, we, for the most part, have been to each part of the map. Outside, like, Northern Mill, which. I think we've been there. I think uh, one of the times when I was up there. Did a quick, like tour I guess of the area so well, I could untig that now I think for most of what we've seen all of the selling stations at least drove by them Get this a little bit closer. 41,000 liters so far. I am sure we'll easily hit the 50,000 again. I'll get this a little bit closer. That way you don't have to cart quite as far. Let's grab, well, this would be the thing that would need to do the work. We'll go and look. Oh, for a second, I didn't see any of the cows moving. So what the heck? It is. It's good. I think we've somewhat recently did this field. I gotta unmark this before I forget. Try and tag it. But it's in pretty good condition then. So I think we'll get that planted. Then probably next video we'll worry about spraying. Because then we'll have two fields to spray. A big lentil field is ready, but it's not a huge rush yet. I'm not gonna, not gonna put all hands on deck quite yet. I don't think I'm gonna do soybeans. I know I've kind of did soybeans on what two of the fields, so I, I don't know if I want to do soybeans again. Actually, while I'm over here, oh, where am I? I want to see how many cows I had. Forty-six. Yeah, we are have uh, moved up in the world. Could put flax back in. When is flax supposed to be high? I haven't did flax in such a long time that it's high right now. It would have to sit in storage, which would be fine. Oh, it's a bucket there. I think maybe then big field maybe flax. Not quite sure how long of a growth period it is, but is uh, then we could try the flax in the big field, and that would give us all the map uh, only in the map type crops. 
Can we have an idea then? I don't know if he'll swath it. Maybe. It would definitely be a lot of work in that big field. Well, I mean, it would be quite a bit of work, but it might be worth it too, though. We'll have to do a little bit of cleaning up on the second round through. I kind of gave uh, Flax a a poor shot. I gave it in, I put it in one of our worst fields. I think soil wise every time. That field is just, it's trash. I, there's no other way to put it. There's some good, obviously. In it. I think this is laying, uh, one of the two is fairly decent, but look at the yield. Yeah, the little corners basically are the sandy loam is probably the best parts, maybe. So. It's really not that great. This will be all loam. For most, of, most of this field is loam, at least. Not all of it, but large majority. Oh, they're already full. And then that field over there, it's not great, but you get a large amount from it. We'd be able to have a better idea of how much we get from it if we don't swath it. We'd have an idea compared to lentils and peas. They'll build a finish after they're emptied. I just doused it all over the cab. I think it's for most part, I think the, the wheat is starting to stagnate. Stagnate. Sitting right around that same price most of the day. It's yet to go down, but. Chocolate is coming soon, too. So that's kind of exciting. We're basically out of lime. Uh, I wanted to see if this big field needed lime. Well, it'll be after this harvest, but. If it's okay right now, I would. Probably guess it probably will. So. That'd be a nice expensive adventure. Because we will not have enough rocks to really do that. But we will have, what, 35,000 coming in today. Corn won't net us anything, but. Well. It doesn't net us now, it goes to the cows, which net us. So it does net, net us something, it just... A step down the line. Well, it's actually two, what, two steps down the line. I guess it would go from harvest to cows. Then it would go to the dairy in a milk form. And then it would become butter, ch cheese, or chocolate. Well, once we get the sugar for it. I'm hoping those two fields that I did will be enough for at least a, a good amount. Um, at least a good enough to be able to test it, try it out. And get more in the ground before we're out again. It's hard to say. It probably depends how, how well I do at getting it back into the ground. More sugar beets back in. Yeah, I gotta do this little bit. This might actually destroy the crop, I think. Will it? Not my crop. I wouldn't think it would. 
It's technically not owned by... A little bit does. It's kind of weird. It, it's like this very edge is somehow part of this land. I don't know. I noticed that because I think I accidentally got a a swipe of it when I was planting something. And it actually planted that in that slight corner of the field. Haven't decided if I'll buy much more land. I think if I do, I think I've mentioned this before, I'd probably look at 28. How long is that? That's pretty close to being ready. That has canola in it. How much is that? 124,000. We'd have to store it because canola is going to start going down. Oh, well, I mean, it's February. It's still good. We'd have to get it done pretty quick. And it's still, it'll be dark green next month. It'll be ready to harvest that February. Oh, it's a big field of oats. Holy. Not want to deal with that. Ideally, I wouldn't mind 38 because be right next to 37. But 28 would not be bad at all. I don't know. I got time to decide if I want to buy it. Ideally, I'd buy it with a crop in it. That way we can reek the benefits and probably just about pay for it. But the problem with canola is that I might end up having to sit on it for a year in the silos. We only have so much silo space. We got a good amount, but once you figure corn will be in one. The lintels will be in one until like June-ish. I guess when it sells. The soybeans, it might be in there for a little bit. They're, it's hard to say. They should be ready right around the high point. Trigger beets shouldn't even touch the silos. Possible the flax will. We could probably fit it in there. It's a big field. It's probably not going to be that great of a yield, but... At least the first time. I think that's one of the few ones that have a uh, pretty solid loam. It's 64. It's decent as well. Most of these around here ain't that great. 18's not bad. At that end, uh, 19 or 12, whichever one, I guess. Which ones do, what do they have in there? So the one has barley and this one has canola. Oh, this one's harvested. That one's ready next month. I don't know. I, I'd prefer to buy, buy it with something in it. So the one harvested canola field we might might get I'll let it I'll let it sit we'll have to get our farm back up to where we can handle more things we still got that uh, big lentil field to go after that we'll be quite a ways until we'll be harvesting again so we'll have uh, I guess a bunch of mowing but I don't know I'll think about the canola that big canola field it is 28 58 I don't I don't remember what it is I'll think about that one it's a good size field it's like a really good size field it would take quite a long time to do but probably get a good amount of money from it as well Probably 70, 80,000. I don't know. I think what I'll do here, I'll uh, time lapse the rest of the seating. And I think the way we'll finish it out, I cleaned up some of the yard so we can get the 
seed storage and probably a fertilizer storage in there. I don't think I'll do lime, but at least fertilizer. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll talk to everyone once the time lapse time lapse is done. Just got that one little bit left. I think there's a little bit of missing piece up there too, it looks like. I'll we'll get that too. But I think what I'll do, I'll grit the seed storage, or I guess it's a buy point too. But I'm probably just going to buy it from the co-op, I think. I guess it kind of depends on price too. If the price makes sense, you know. And the fertilizer, I think there's a couple options. I could have one where it's buy as you go. Um, maybe. Maybe I'll do that. I have quite a bit of fertilizer on hand already. There's five bags in the shed there. See, I was planning on putting them over here. That's why I kind of moved everything. I gotta remember where they are at. Yeah, there. So that, this one's pretty cheap to get. So I think, uh, gotta put it in somewhere where it's nice to be able to back up to. But out of the way. We'll do that there. That sound looks, looks like a good place. So we can buy this, which would actually technically allow us to buy everything. Maybe I should have did that. Um, but this should do. It looks like, yeah, we can buy it. I'm assuming there's probably a dumping function, whether there is or not. Uh, who knows? We'll put that kind of right by it. And we'll have to do some landscaping. This one, I believe. There we go. But of that, um, let's. Where's cement or asphalt? Yeah, that's asphalt. Okay. Looks like uh, cement to me. Get uh, some well, asphalt or cement around that. That kind of looks a little better. It almost looks like we poured some. I want to say concrete. I really do. That's what it looks like to me. There we have it. So this should allow us to empty in it as well. This one I'm not sure if we could. I guess there's a very easy way to tell. That would be yes. So we could actually bulk by into that. So, let's show the prices, how much it would cost. Uh, it, does, it doesn't show how much it would cost. I guess that's 1,000 liters, so 1,280. And seeds. Oh, man, a lot of places. 720-ish right now. And for... Thousand liters nine eighty nine, so that would be a bad deal. And this thousand liters is seventeen sixty, so that would be another bad deal. So yeah, we'll have to buy bulk by then. So we'll have to go and grab this. Get this emptied into the trailer. They did a good job. Yeah, looks like they did pretty good. 
That way we can empty this into the silo. And then we can put it into the silo. Yeah. It won't be full, but it'll be pretty close. And then we can take that. Or take the trailer and move it over to the wheat. And then go and get the wheat sold, which is... Still going up. But I just... I don't know if I can trust it. I just don't know. It, it shows it's kind of up to that high price already. I've been burned before thinking it was going to go up, and it didn't, so... Kind of just don't want to risk it at this point. But really, this wheat basically just pays for the the storage units that I got. And I think mainly I'll use it as that, just for storage purposes. Like I, I mean, the price is kind of such a big difference that I'll buy it in bulk with the trailer and just dump it in there. There we go. Now, which one has the wheat in it? This is it this one? Yes. And it's almost done. You can almost see what the price of uh, corn would be. It's, oh, that's a lot. $72,000 worth of corn right now. At max value, I should say. From that small field. Pretty good. Off to, I'll do a quick jump cut with everything set up, and then we'll get the wheat sold off. Welcome back, everyone. There we have the uh, wheat is loading up. I got the other auger. I think it's might be air off, actually. That is all set up for the lentils. That's the bin with the lentils in it, so that'll be ready for the, the big field whenever that... Uh, Gets harvested. Oh, that is all. Ooh, don't take just to make sure everything's out of there. Oh, interesting. Both actually pretty high right now. Butter, butter. Brenda's pretty up there too. I just got cheese. That one, it's high as 5,800. Brenda's kind of the lowest. That's December, and it's supposed to be higher than ne next month. Butter is the same way. Bakery's starting to go down, though. I might sell uh, whatever the bakery takes. And then probably hold off until next month. It should be high as well, so... At least that's what I'm seeing. It was uh, June, July. Those seventy thousand dollars of uh, lentils in there. Not bad. That's the bakery, or yeah, the bakery is right next to the dairy, so I can just quickly sell as much butter as they'll take. Usually they don't take too much. There is a limit, so. Why do I have so much troubles with this uh, silo recently? There we go. That is getting dumped in. We'll hop on over to the dairy and we'll just sell a little bit of butter. Just since the price is still showing it's going up, I don't want to sell all of it. Oh, we have a bunch of butter over here, actually. Oh, wait. Just throw it. I don't know if they'll take much more than two. There's a limit. Uh, oh, no. I'll take more. Still going? I 
think we're just gonna sell all, all of the butter. Usually there's a pretty a good limit, but we must be far enough off that there's not one right now. Nope. Alright, that's the last butter we got. Oh, it took all of it. I am honestly surprised. So yeah, that's about one of the higher prices. This still is showing it could go up and it I guess on the other thing it shows the same for the cheese. Well, 5,800 it's showing and all the prices are still going up. I think we'd be dumb uh, not to hold off. Oh, the train just went by. Of course. We get to wait for it now. It's almost nighttime now. Feels like it's been a long a video, but I suppose it is December. It's kind of how the how the weather is during that time. Oh, well, not weather, but daylight. It's dark. Oh, oh, it gets dark uh, earlier and light later. But now we're in the middle of the summer I IRL. At least it's like it'll be five o'clock in the morning. And it's, it's starting to get light. It's pretty good light already. Oh. I just don't tr trust the price for next video, so. I think that's... Is that Brenda's? No? No, that's not. That down there is Brenda's fresh produce. Brothers. Well, campsite over there? I didn't even notice that. I never really noticed the Gil campsite over there. Oh, we're actually ending the day with more money than what we started. That's nice. Yeah. I didn't notice this. There's like a little... I don't know if it'd be a campsite. I mean, yeah, probably. Outhouses. I guess it'd be more of like a a park, national park, or something like that. You know, it's really not. I guess when I think of national parks, I think of a bunch of trees, but it'd be like a park. Hmm. Never knows that until now. A building over here too. Oh, well, that's that's cool. Oh, we got benches and a walking path. How did I not see this? Well, there are like campsites out here. I guess you could probably count camp. I think I don't know. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.